Iris Carl did so much for students and for NCTM and her efforts, and to be selected and asked for her address to speak is an honor. Iris Carl did a lot of work for NCTM around equity and justice. She was a person who started that work early, and we stand on the shoulders of many teachers and educators, families, and communities to do this work together. One of the ways in which I challenge conventional wisdom is to put at the center students, families, and communities in pedagogy and start to think about ways in which we can dismantle structures that are harming students. We've done a lot of work in curriculum instruction and made some great strides with regard to strong mathematics and pedagogy that has changed from the traditional in terms of offering more opportunity for students. We need to do a little more. And I think we need to also think about the mindsets and the beliefs that are still creating barriers for our students. Um, for many of our um, black and brown students, our multilingual students. So I think that, that we need to push a little further on what the underlying beliefs about all students being successful in mathematics are. My main concern is that we do a reset, we dismantle the structures that are um, making it very difficult for our students to not only just learn the mathematics, but feel joyful about the mathematics. When you attend conferences like this and you see young math educators, young teachers who are incited and, and willing to learn and looking at things in new perspectives, it's very exciting to, to think about the future.